It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first contestant is Jermel, and her person is Oprah. Our second contestant is Alex, and his place is Barcelona. And our third contestant is Eric. His thing is a puzzle. <laughs> now a woman who's more confusing than the hardest Sudoku. It's our host, <laughs> Melissa Peterman. Yes, Jay, and very complicated. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where the contestants need to ask me the right questions to get to the right answers. And right behind me, I have three phenomenal contestants who are here playing for a chance to win our grand prize, a trip for two on Prince's Cruise Lines. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Eric. Thank you. Okay, all right, you guys ready to get started? Yes. Okay, well, backstage, we did a little arm wrestling contest to see who went first, and Jermel crushed it. She beat everybody, even half of our crew, okay? <laughs> all right, so Jermel, you're starting up, but in round one, we're gonna play each category, person, place, or thing. That's gonna be for 100 points. You can always ask me a yes or no question. You can guess when it's your turn if you think you know it. And after everyone has a turn, I will give you a clue, okay? Then anyone can buzz in. You get it right, you got 100 points. You get it wrong, we skip your turn. Okay, up first is our person category. This person is a TV personality, okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. Is this TV personality, do they have a talk show? No, they do not have a talk show. I know, Oprah, that's your lady. <laughs> She's my lady yep. too. Okay, Alex? Um, are they a female? No, not a female. Hey, Eric. Hello, Melissa. Nice How to see you. you. I'm nice so you. good. Good. I'm going to take a stab at this and okay. say, is it Blake Shelton? It is not. Blake Shelton. I love him though. All right, and that means it's time for your first clue. Get buzzers in your hand. Here we go. He turned 98 years old in December of 2021. Alex. Alex Trebek. It is not Alex Trebek, okay? Which means I am right back here to you, Jamel. Was he on a daytime television show? Yes, he was on a daytime television show. Alex. Wait, Alex is skipped if I'm in? Oh, I'm just gonna skip you. I just wanted to come and say hi. Hi. So Alex, I'm just saying hi, but I'm gonna skip you and just go right over here to Eric. Yes. Oh, so is it my main man, Dick Clark? <gasps> Is he your main man? He's everybody's main he, man. Yes, yes, indeed, but it is not oh, Dick Clark. I am so sorry, Eric, which means it's time for your second clue oh, about this TV personality. Get your buzzers in your hand. Here we go. He fought Adam Sandler's character in Happy Gilmore. Oh, um. Oh! I know. Oh, well, guess what? Too late, because time is up, and I'm heading right over here to Jermel. Oh, my goodness Okay, goodness. he fought Adam Sandler's character in Happy Gilmore. Gosh. Nope. Is it? Jay Leno is not that old, but. No, he is not that old. I Jay don't. Leno is 40, in case he's watching. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Um, has he won any other awards? Has he won any awards or any other? We have any other awards besides like television awards? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Hey. Alex. Is it the character in Happy Gilmore that's his butler that he ends up getting in a fight with who stabs his foot, that has black foot? <laughs> he stabs his foot with the, um, the charcoal thing for the fireplace. <sighs> I just don't know his name. And after all of that, is Alex, it his butler? The, it is, it, is it the butler character? It is. The answer is no, Alex. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but now I want to look that guy up for sure. <laughs> Eric, yes or no or guess? I'm going to take guess. Okay. My other main man is it Bob Barker? It is. Yeah! Oh my God! This was right. Indeed. Okay, it is Bob Barker. I love that. Yeah, The Price is Right. Um, not the guy. He did not play the butler that stabbed the foot. But I mean, <laughs> they did fight, though. Yeah, they, they did, did fight. fight. They, they did, did fight. fight. And by the way, so. just so to answer your question, he won the MTV Movie Award for Best <laughs> Fight because of that oh Adam Sandler oh. movie. I mean, it was classic. It was hilarious. All right, Alex, we are up to you. We are playing our place category, okay? And here's a little clue for you. This place is an international. City, okay? International city. Meaning it's outside of the US. Yes. Is that your, that might have been your question. No, no, no. Okay. May I guess? You wanna guess? Sure. Yeah. Barcelona. 
Barcelona. <laughs> it is not <sighs> Barcelona, but I like the way. That's the proper way to right. say it, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me hear it again. Barcelona. And let me try where I'm looking at the camera and try it. <laughs> I want you to say it. I'm gonna mouth it. Try it again. <laughs> yeah, perfect. You want me to say it in your voice or mine? You're in your my voice. Here we yeah. go. Barcelona. <laughs> it is not Barcelona. Okay, uh, Eric, international city that's not Barcelona. Barcelona. Okay, I'm going to say, um, is it in Europe? No, it is not mm. in Europe. All right, Jamal. Is it in Asia? Yes, it is in Asia, and guess what? It's time for your first clue, so here we go. Your first clue about this international city. It has more Michelin-starred restaurants than anywhere else in the world. Eric. How about some fine sushi in Tokyo? Eric! What the heck? Yes! <laughs> Phenomenal job! Thank you just you, got another Marissa. 100 points. Thank it you. is. Have you been to Tokyo? I have not. Okay, well, it sounds like you, you're ready to travel. But maybe we'll take the cruise there. Okay. Uh, all right, it's up to you now, Eric. This We're back to our thing category, and yep. this thing is a musical instrument. Eric, is this going to be a clean sweep of round one for you? I doubt it. Well, <laughs> let's see. But we'll give it a shot, okay. a musical instrument. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I promised Stevie Wonder if I got to this place, I'd say harmonica. Is it a harmonica? Uh, no. Oh. It is not harmonica. But I'm, I'm glad you and Stevie are buds. I like that. <laughs> Jamel. Can this instrument be played in the symphony? No. Okay. Alex. I'm going to guess okay. guitar. It is not a guitar. All right, I'm giving you your first clue about this musical instrument. Ready? Buzzers in your hand. Here we go. They are a type of woodwind instrument. Uh, Alex. Violin. It is not. Oh, wait, that's just It is not the violin, but we know that now. Okay. All right. Gosh. I'm going to you, Eric. Not, okay. not a violin, not a guitar. Is it a flute? It is not a flute. Okay, Jamel. Um, is it a recorder? It is not a recorder, which means it is time for clue two. All right, here we go. It's been said that their shrill sound can be heard 10 miles away. Alex. Is it a harp? No, it is not a harp. Yeah. All right, that, which means I'm going on over to Eric, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, what would you I like to do? I'm gonna take a guess. Okay, I okay. I can't think of anything, but inspired by this beautiful dress, oh. and maybe a green theme, uh -huh. maybe a bagpipe? It is oh! a bagpipe, oh! it is. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Um, I'm told that we would have also accepted Melissa as something shrill that can be heard 10 miles away. <laughs> um, anyway, Eric, you just swept that round. You have 300 points. Alex and Jamel, you're not on the board yet, but you know what? We're going to be right back with some more great questions and even greater clues on person, place, or thing. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. And now here's America's foremost cat herder, Melissa Peterman. Jamie, thank you. Okay, guys, welcome back to round two. Round two, same as round one, except we're going to double the points, and you guys get to pick which category you want to play. All right, Jamel, we're going to start with you. What do you want to play, person, place, or thing? Thing. You want to play thing. All right, here we go. This thing is a fruit. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this fruit's color red? No, not red. Alex. Can you peel it? No, you cannot peel it. Eric. Is this fruit a grape? No, it is not a grape. <laughs> but I like the way you asked that. Here we go, time for your first clue. Get your buzzers in your hand. This fruit is a popular pie ingredient. Alex. Is it a peach? No, it is not a peach. That means I'm right back over here to you, Jamel. Not a peach, but still a popular pie ingredient. Hmm. Is it blueberry? Nope, it is not blueberry. And 
and Skip. <laughs> Eric? I don't know about anybody else, but I love a strawberry pie. Mm. I love a strawberry pie too, but no, oh. it is not a strawberry pie, which means it's time for your Ooh. second clue. So here we go, get your buzzers up, here we go. Both the flesh and the seeds are commonly eaten. Eric. Pumpkin pie. It is a pumpkin. Well done. Thank you. I did not know pumpkin was a fruit. I didn't know that either. I learned yeah. something new every day. All right, Alex, you're up next. Pick your category. What do you want to play? Person, place, or thing? A place. A place. Okay. This place is a U.S. landmark. Okay. U.S. landmark. The White House. Just gonna take a guess right yeah, out of the bat? Yep. Okay, you know what? It is not okay. the White House. Eric. Is it Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty? Oh, that's, a, that's a very good one, but it is not oh. Lady Liberty. Okay, Jamel, what do you think, huh? Is it on the West Coast? No, it is not on the West Coast. Time for your first clue. Get your buzzers in your hand, everybody. Here we go, this US landmark, first clue. You can visit this in Washington, D.C. Jamel. Is it the Abraham Lincoln statue? Yes! Oh, wow! Well, we are gonna take it. It's a Lincoln Memorial. But that's an Abraham Lincoln yes. statue. That's what people call it. Well done, you've got 200 points. You're on the board. All right, that means, Eric, it's up to you. You get to pick your category. Do you wanna play person? place, or thing? I would love person, please. Person, we all love people. Okay, Eric, I hope you like this uh, kind of person because this person is a scientist. Mm. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. What do you this think? This is a scientist. A scientist. Is this person Albert Einstein? Right out of the gate, I guess, right but out you of know the what? Gate. No, it is not Albert Einstein. Oh. Ah, Jamel. Hmm. Was this person on a kid's TV show? No, this person was not on a kid's TV show. Alex. Fauci. Another guess right out of the gate, but no. No. Not Dr. Okay. Fauci. All right, here we go. First clue, buzzers in the hand. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. Okay. Time is up. All right, that means I'm right back to you, Eric. Okay. First woman to win a Nobel Prize. I think uh -huh. it is uh, Curie, Madam Curie, if I'm not mistaken. It is! Well done, Eric. <laughs> 200 you. points. That means, Eric, you are well in the lead with 700 points. But you know what, Jamal, you're on the board 200. Alex not on the board yet. But in this next round, anything can happen. So don't go away. We're going to speed things up and see who's going to walk away the winner on person, place, or thing. Welcome back to a very special episode of Person, Place, or Thing. OK, we've got a great game going out here. Eric, you have 700 points, and Jamel, you have 200. Alex, not on the board, but you know what? It's the speed round. So this can really be a game changer. We're gonna put two minutes on the clock. No more questions from you. I'm just gonna give you clues, okay? When you think you know it, buzz in and give the answer. You get it right, you got 500 points. You get it wrong, you're gonna have to skip your, your, you're out, but just for that question, okay? You can come right back in on the next question. Okay, you ready? All right, get your buzzers in. You got, I didn't see your buzzer. You had it so hidden, Jamal. Sorry. I wasn't making sure. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, buzzers in the hand. Jamie, please put two minutes on the clock. 120 seconds. Oh, what, oh yes, thank you. I got it. You're good at math. All right, good luck, everybody. Time starts now. This person joined the cast of Saturday Night Live in 1990. He was first discovered by Eddie Murphy. He voiced Marty the Zebra in Madagascar. Eric. Chris Rock. It is Chris Rock. Here we go. This thing has a Guinness World Record for tallest built at 69 feet and five inches. It has a show about people who build them called Race Against the Tide. It is often built with a shovel and pail. Alex. 
Sand castle? Yes, it is a sand castle. Yes. This place has two official languages, French and English. Eric. Montreal. Uh, Quebec. No, it is the second largest country. Jamel. Canada. It is Canada. That's well done. This person was named Time's 2021 Person of the Year. He became a billionaire in 2012. He was born, Eric. Jeff Bezos. It is not Jeff Bezos. He was born in South Africa. Alex. Elon Musk. It is Elon Musk. This place is a popular hike in the US. Alex. Um, yellow, uh, Time. It is 2,000 yep. miles long and passes through 14 states. Jamel. Pacific Coast. Nope, it is not. It shares a name with a mountain range it passes alongside. It is the longest marked footpath in America. Its path runs from Georgia to Maine. Eric. Appalachian Trail. It is the Appalachian yeah. Trail. This thing is labeled with human names in the US. Their direction is determined by Eric. Hurricane. It is a hurricane. This place has been sought out by adventurers and treasure hunters. It is believed to have been swallowed up by the sea. Alex, you got in the bus. Take a guess. Thank Take you. Uh, the triangle in the middle of the ocean. No, no. it's not the triangle thingy my job. It is Atlantis. It would have been there. Well done, everybody. Uh, Alex, you got up to 1,000 points you. there. Jermel, you had 700, but not enough to beat Eric <laughs> at 2,200 points. Eric, you're going to go on to play for the grand prize. And Alex and Jamel, you guys are so wonderful. You know what? We're not going to send you home empty-handed. Jamie, what are we sending them home with? You're each getting a gift card to Lobstergram. <laughs> Indulge with Lobstergram. Delivering the freshest lobster, giant king crab legs, colossal shrimp, flavorful hand-cut steaks, side dishes, and desserts right to your door. Make gift giving effortless with Lobstergram.com. Yes, we love a Lobstergram. Thank you, Jamel. Thank you, Alex. Okay, when we come back, we're going to see if Eric can walk out with our amazing trip. Stay right here for more person, place, or thing. Welcome back to the final round of person, place, or thing. Ooh, I am here with our winner, Eric, right here. You did so well in that last round. Thank you. And I know, Eric, that you are very excited to play and maybe take that fantastic trip. So Jamie, tell Eric all about this dreamy vacation. Oh, Eric, you'll enjoy the princess treatment on your choice of a four to seven day cruise to Alaska, the California coast, the Caribbean, Ooh. or Mexico, four of the 330 destinations princess visits. Experience our newest ship, Discovery Princess, and an effortless medallion class vacation with world-class dining, entertainment, spa, and service, making each guest feel special. That's what a princess cruise is all about. I love it. Okay, Eric, let's do this. Yes. Here are the rules mm -hmm. for the final round. You have to get a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can ask me as many yes or no questions as you want. You can guess as many times as you want. You can start anywhere you want and pass and move forward, but you got to get all three. I've got three clues for you, Eric. You can use them any way you want. Spread them out all at once but please use your clues. You're gonna get $1,000 each for the first two correct answers, but you get all three answers right. You're gonna get the $2,000 and a trip on that Princess Cruise Line. Sound good? Yes, please. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about your categories and then you decide where you wanna start. Your person is an actor, okay? Mm -hmm. Your place is a U.S. city and your thing is candy, okay? <laughs> Where would you like to start, Eric? U.S. city, please. You wanna start with our place category. Let's place it out. All right, remember, deep breath, you got this, you can do it. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. Oh, that's a minute. I knew that, I knew that, here we go. Good luck, Eric. Thank you so much. Time starts now. You want a clue? Yes, please. Okay, U.S. City. This city is world-renowned for its Creole cuisine. New Orleans. Yes. All right, this thing, candy. Curlew, please. It was made by Hershey's. Uh, uh, Tootsie Roll. No. Uh, is it, uh, it's, a, it's a candy bar. Is it a Hershey bar? It's no. It's a chocolate bar. Is it a bar, candy bar? Yes. Okay, is it M&M's? No. Is it, uh, it's a chocolate bar. Yes. Um, 
Is it uh, have two letters? Uh, no. Okay, pass. Okay, here we go, actor. Okay, um, is it a man? Yes. Uh, is he a, on TV? No. Give me a clue, please. He is a black belt and trained in many martial arts. Is it Steven Seagal? No. Is it, um, is he, um, uh, uh, is he Asian? Yes. Is he, um, Bruce Lee? No. Is he? You were so, so, so oh very God. close. You know who it was? Do you know now? I can see him. His, uh, it's, uh, um, Jackie, Jackie Chan! Chan! Yes, and my uh, candy, I need to eat more candy. And the candy, it was a Mounds bar. Mounds bar. Mounds sometimes bars. I feel like sometimes a nut. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Well, you know what, uh, Eric, you were so lovely and <laughs> such a wonderful you. player. So, Jamie, we don't want to send him home empty-handed. What are we going to send Eric home with? Eric, you're going to enjoy this Cuisinart air fryer and 11-piece premium cookware set for all your cooking needs. Cuisinart is a universally recognized brand that has always encouraged consumers to savor the good life. Nobody covers a kitchen like Cuisinart. That's great, right? Fantastic. Okay, and you know you what? So you, I, I forgot to tell you this. You also got $1,000 because you got New Orleans, right? All right. So you got cash and a cooker and my undying gratitude. Thank you, Thank Eric. Thank you, Melissa. All right, remember, this person hopes you come back to this place so we can play this thing again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm Melissa Peterman. Goodbye.